Hello everyone, welcome to the lesson. This lesson I want us to solve a question on logarithmic equations. So there's a question here that I want us to solve. Log of y to the base of 4 plus log of 4 to the base of y is equals to 2. So how are we supposed to solve this question? A quick look at this question, you notice that we have bases that are different. The first one, log of y to the base of 4. This one is to the base of 4. Then the next one is to the base of y. Now, you cannot solve this one easily unless you change all the bases to be uniform. So, in this case, I'm going to change all of them to be to the base of y. So, therefore, I'll, require, I'll be required to change log of y to the base of 4 to be log of 4 to the base of y. So, that the bases will be the same and in this case, the bases will be y. Now, to do this, there's a rule that you need to know. The change of the base rule. So change of the base rule. What does this state? In case you're given, uh, let's say log of A to the base of B. And you want to change so that now the base will be B and not A. This will be given by the inverse of log of um, now the base will be B. And that will be 1 divided by log of a to the base of b. So that is what you're going to apply. So in this case, uh, log of um, y to the base of 4, if you want to change this base, I'll have it as 1 divided by log of 4 to the base of y. So now you can see this one will be uh, to the base of y. And I'll have the other one to the base of y. Now having that now, instead of having now log of y to the base of 4, I will write it as 1 divided by, so this will be 1 divided by log of 4 to the base of y. Then plus, the other one is a log of 4 to the base of y log of 4 to the base of y this one should be equated to 2 now by doing that now i'll be able to solve since that the bases are the same the base is y the uniform now now from this step uh, the next thing that you're going to do uh, you can let log of 4 to the base of y be a letter let's say m I'll leave that one to be m. That is m. Therefore, instead of 1 divided by log of 4 to the base of y, you shall have 1 divided by m plus m. This one should be equals to 2. Now you can see you're simplifying the equation. It is becoming simpler now to work with. Now having that, um, if I multiply each term by m, if I multiply each term by m, like this, I get m multiply by 1 divided by m plus each term to be multiplied by m times m is equals to, then this one will be 2 multiplied by m. Now if I do that, If I do that, this one I'll have. This I'll have um, for this one I'll have one plus uh, m squared is equals to two m. Now organizing this one because you can see this one will form a quadratic equation. I'll have uh, m squared minus two m plus one is equals to zero. So using any sort of method to solve for m. Use the factorization would work very well here. So look for two numbers whose product is 1 and the sum is negative 2. So I'll have uh, m squared minus m minus m. That will be minus 2m plus 1 is equals to 0. Factorizing, you get m minus 1, then minus 1. This one is uh, m minus 1. 
is equals to 0. So therefore, m minus 1 multiplied by m minus 1. It will be okay. And this one should be equal to 0. So you can see both of them are similar. m minus 1 is equal to 0. m minus 1 is equal to 0. So you shall have m to be equated to 1. To be 1. Now after getting m, now you can recall. But uh, you have these that log log of um, y log of 4 to the base of y is equals to m m is 1 now from here now you can get your m easily why since um, this one is uh, written in logarithmic notation if you want to write this one in index notation you shall just do it like this you take y raised to power 1 should be equal to 4. So you are just writing this one is um, in logarithmic notation. Now you won't write it in index notation. This one is index notation. So you get y raised to power 1 is equals to 4 and therefore y is equals to 4. As simple as that.